All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. In this video I'll be showing you how to make your large files way under the 100 megabyte limit that YouTube imposes. I downloaded a documentary from stage 6. It's a 346 megabyte file, 343 megabyte file, and the screen resolution is very big. That's the first thing we want to change is the screen resolution. If I go to video, full, comp uh, make sure full processing mode is selected, and I go to filters, I'm going to add a filter that says resize. Uh, I'm going to jump to it. It says resize right here. I'm going to double click it. And uh, I'm going to disable the aspect ratio. That's the first thing I want to do. YouTube videos are always in 320 by 240 format. 320 by 240. Make sure aspect ratio is disabled. So I have 320 by 240. And you can experiment with these things. Uh, I guess I usually use Lancos for some reason because it's the most recommended. And I click OK. And now the output, this is the input, the output video right here is going to be much smaller. It's going to be the exact size uh, for YouTube. So it's quite a bit smaller. The next thing I can do is add a filter. Uh, since I just made it smaller, it might be a little blurred. It's annoying when the video is blurred. So I recommend uh, going to the sharpening filter in, in Virtual Dub and you can select the amount you want to sharpen the video and you can preview it apparently preview no it works I can preview it here so once you uh, make your video smaller it really is beneficial to sharpen the video so it's not very very blurred and you can also do stuff like increase the contrast which, which will make uh, the color saturation a little bit stronger so if you have very dull videos, it'll look much brighter. Let me increase it all the way. You don't want to increase it too much, but you want to find that middle ground uh, where it's not too much, but not too little. The next thing I want to do is select my codex. I can go to video compression. Uh, either use DivX or FFD Show. I like using DivX. And set your compression to, let's say, 256 or 384. 384 is pretty decent. Uh, so select a bitrate. You can choose anywhere from 200 to 512. That's around the area that YouTube is. I recommend 384. Okay, I save it. And I'm going to se select an audio compression. I'm going to set full processing, set compression, and I'm going to go down until it says 440 at uh, 64 kilobits per second CBR but apparently I don't have that option if I don't have that option I can go to audio conversion select 44,000 uh, Hertz I'm gonna change it to uh, no 8-bit is fine I'm gonna change it to mono because stereo basically plays two tracks at the same time it makes the videos much larger and YouTube uses mono anyway be sure to make sure that high quality is selected. Okay, so to recap, 44,000 hertz mono in audio conversion. I'm going to go back to compression and see if it has the settings I like. And here's the setting I like. 44,000 hertz, 64 kilobits per second, CBR mono. That's perfect. 8 kilobits per second. That is awesome. So now I have my video compression at 384 and my audio compression uh, I don't recommend smart rendering because it usually probably won't work, especially if uh, you have a downloaded video. Just go to File, Save As, and you can save your now smaller video. However, if the file is much larger than the 11 minute limit, YouTube allows you to upload anything under 11 minutes. It doesn't matter what your account type is either. But uh, let's say I want the first under 11 minutes, so I'm going to go to uh, 1059, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to select the end flag, and it's going to select a range. This is what I want to do if the video is way too long. I'm going to save this, file, save as, 
and this is going to be the first part so I'll just call it one or something and save it. Once it finishes saving that part I can go to edit, delete, and then again uh, scroll to 1059 where it says 1059 around there and then the end flag and then I'm going to again go to file save and then I'm going to save it as part two and save. So you can cut a long video into multiple parts and upload it one piece at a time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for listening. <laughs>